Okay, uh, good evening. Welcome to Math Task Number Sixty Four. Math Task Sixty Four. So I made um, I made the shape today on on our um, on our three D printer, and I know you've seen it before. Do you remember what it is? The piano curve. All right. What does what does the piano curve do? So maybe a pen if you want to talk with the pen. Follows the start. Start is here, I believe. Okay. So we put it this way. It follows. I don't know, it goes like that. So it kind of follows a pattern. When it's, so well, you don't have to draw it perfectly, but or you can just say what it, what it so says. So it's, it's a fractal, and it starts at like a the first stage and then you break it down into smaller set you reach each line down into the sm smaller segments of that pattern okay and then it gets like bigger and bigger until it covers all of space oh it covers all of space okay but what, what does it mean when you said it was a fractal what does that mean well there's multiple stages to it and it follows a pattern okay cool Mm -hmm. um, is there anything you think is is particularly interesting about the piano curve? It forms a square. Okay, it forms a square. That's interesting. Yeah, and then it curves up for oh. some reason. Yeah, well, that's uh, our friend Laura Tomlin actually made made this, I, and I took it from her site, um, and she just made it curve up. It doesn't mm -hmm. it doesn't do that for real. It would just mm -hmm. live in the plane. Mm -hmm. is there anything else you think is interesting about it? Not really. Not really. What happens when I do more and more iterations? Well, I would think it would stay inside the square, but it would just get more and more refined. Oh, more and more refined. And then eventually, as you went off to infinity, what would happen? It would become a square. Does that surprise you? Mm. Yeah. Why? It surprises me that it would form a square. Why is that surprising, that it would form the whole square? Well, because usually, like, the Mandelbrot fractal just forms like a it's kind of circular and moving it's like a roundish pattern okay but in this case it's a square okay well it, it also has a neat property called a, it's space filling so it, it actually becomes the entire square yeah which is um, a little surprising since what other kind of shape is it it's Mm. It's, it feels like a square, but yeah. But you can can you see how you start here? You can actually sort of trace through it all the way. It's not actually. It's just lines. Yeah, it's just lines. But somehow they end up filling the entire square, which mm. is pretty cool. So somehow a um, a one dimensional idea of a line it can become a two dimensional. Becomes a two dimensional idea mm. of a square. And um, what we're going to do next is we're going to actually show that this is really indeed a line, okay? Mm. Okay. All right, we need your brother, though. 